Say we got this, you want to listen to music on your new iPhone 7, 8, or 10, but there's no headphone jack. You need to use an adapter. But let's say your phone's also dead and you need to plug that into charge. Now, where is the place for that adapter for your headphones? Well, thanks to this awesome little thing right here, we can now charge our phone and listen to music at the exact same time. Let's check it out. The idea behind this is pretty simple. On one end, you have a lightning connector. On the, on the other, you have both a lightning receiving and a headphone jack. The construction is actually pretty good. The casings on all the ends are made out of aluminum. They match the style of the Max, kind of not so much the iPhones anymore. And then the cable is made out of soft rubber. So the durability on this is pretty great and I have no issues at all with build quality or anything about it lasting. It's awesome. So here's how it works. You just go ahead and plug it in to your iPhone, plug that right into the lightning port. And if we actually open up control center music, and then we look at our output devices with it not plugged in, you can see it says iPhone. But once we do plug in, it recognizes it right away without headphones as CD002. It automatically switches that input so you don't have to actually do that manually, but this is a nice way to show you that it is actually working. So we'll just go ahead, plug in power, and our phone starts charging right away. And then we can also plug in headphones and we can listen to music. Now, when I first got this, I was kind of skeptical that not everything would work. So the first thing I was wondering is, can it actually charge? And it does surprisingly good. It actually works for that part. And as you can see, we can have both cables going right into it and you can charge your phone while listening to music. One of the things that caught my eye on the listing page was it said that the audio amp inside this adapter is actually better than the one on your iPhone. So you're theoretically going to get better audio. We'll talk about that in a minute. My only complaint is the way the connectors fit. As you can see, the lightning connector is not all the way in and there's just a barely click when you put it in. It still sticks out, so I'm not sure if it's all the way in. I don't wanna force it, but it works, so who cares? The audio connector also has the same issue, except it just goes right in and there's no click. It looks like it should go in farther. I've tried, it does not go in. For the most part, audio sounds fine and it works. There is a little bit of crackle if we do twist it with the connector in it. So I'm not sure if it's in all the way, but that's as far as I was able to get it to go. Now back to audio quality, I did not really notice a huge difference compared to the other adapters or even the lightning headphones. There's a little bit of a hiss, but that could just be my poor quality earbuds. So I'm not saying that this is better, but it's not really worse at all. So um, it's, a, it's a neat solution to be able to charge your phone and use headphones at the same time. It's not that expensive. Build quality is really awesome. And I have no complaints about this other than those connectors not quite fitting perfectly. But other than that, I'm a huge fan of this. If you wanna check it out and pick one up for yourself, I'll drop a link to it down below in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Tech 128 and I'll see you in the next one.